Once again, it's Mshamba Marekani. Welcome to All Topics Considered podcast. This is for anybody who want to bring somebody to America. And I think I told you guys, people change. Your wife is going to change. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, they are all going to change. So we're going to explore the dynamics of bringing somebody to the USA. This is especially for the ladies. You're bringing a guy to America. So expect the guy also the guys this same thing applies expect them they are gonna change and do not blame anybody anybody out out there in america is looking for an opportunity to come to america they are looking for a way out and i do not blame them anybody is just looking for an opportunity to get their footing in the usa you have decided you want to help somebody come to the usa a boyfriend girlfriend most of them are gonna fake it till they make it so you won't understand most of them you're gonna think it's love and uh, but at the back of their mind it's all about coming to the USA so you also have to understand that most of these people the girlfriend boyfriend they have families back home they have a lot of dreams to achieve then making it to the USA it's something really big for them they need to shine back home after coming to the usa you having already been in usa if you're in a, a capacity to invite somebody uh, that shows you already have your stuff together maybe you have a degree a good job you know basically your life is going good uh, the same people they have the same dreams and ambitions just like you you're gonna have a conflict with them because most of the cases what has been happening is you invite somebody to the usa and they come here and uh, the person who, who is doing the invitation tries to limit the person or control them because they brought them to the USA and this works against them because the other person is seeking to be liberated they are seeking to have the freedom you're having they're seeking to do the things you have done or other people around them are doing so they can be able to make money and help their families back home or also improve their life in the USA. Almost anybody will fall in love, not with you, but with the idea of moving to America. So you have to know that before you decide you want to help somebody come to America. You have to know you will not be able to control them. You are gonna fail miserably. You also have to know they might be in love with the idea of you helping them come to America not actually being in love with you even though they might be showing that they are in love with you but what you actually don't know is they are in love with the idea of you bringing them to america so don't get it confused don't get confused uh, thinking it's love uh it's just love for what you have to offer it's an opportunity and anybody would take it and don't think because you help someone you can control them uh, because what happens is these people they they bring people here they keep reminding them i brought you to america no it doesn't work that way people don't remember people forget easily and i'm not saying not all relationships are gonna go that route but there is a high possibility that's the route it's gonna take once that individual steps foot in america and they start driving you know they get a job start driving go to school start making a lot of money you are gonna see the whole process play out so it's either you want to choose to listen or you want to go ahead i'm not saying it's gonna take that route but i have seen a lot of people take that route and it has ended in premium tears also you have to know that many of your friends especially the friends you're with here in america most of them cannot make it back home or outside America because they'll have a hard time coming back. Maybe it's because of the paperwork or for whatever issues. So just remember, most of them, especially if they're your friends and they're single, they also want somebody from back home. I don't know what it is, but I guess it's just what you're familiar with. So you choosing to bring a dude or, or a girlfriend here in America, you're actually doing them a very, very huge favor. And especially for the women, you bringing them a guy bringing a dude here in america you're doing them a very very huge favor because you have already screened this dude you have already pre-selected him and you have already chosen him from amongst all those men 
back home and decided he is fit for marriage. You already know what women do. So an example is why do women show interest all of a sudden to married guys? Because the guys have been pre-selected. The other woman has already said, hey, look at him. This guy is fit for marriage. He's going to be a good provider. He's going to be a good man. So that's why women go for those men. They have already been pre-selected. So if you go to a shop, let's say you go to McDonald or Burger King, you know, and they're cooking fries would you rather wait for those fries that are being cooked or those fries that just got straight out of the fryer you decide so many of your friends will be willing to rip off from your work so when you bring somebody here most of those friends might disappear with the person I'm telling you I've seen this happen numerous times if you want to try it for yourself go ahead and try it good luck make sure you call me or you message me and let me know what really happened proceed cautiously you can find love in america the the problem is most of you don't go out there you don't want to interact with a lot of people you don't want to say hi to people you walk around with with a with a mean uh, demeanor uh, you're afraid to express yourself you think somebody's gonna judge you because of your accent let me tell you i've interacted with a lot of americans especially from the south and I'm telling you, I used to laugh at them because of their accent, but they are still living. But somebody's gonna lie to you that your accent is annoying. They're gonna tell you that your accent should limit you, that it's not American. Let me tell you, everybody in America has an accent. Wherever you go, South, North, you go to Boston, you go to California, everybody has their own accent. So, you choosing to limit yourself because of whatever reason you have chosen and you don't want to interact with people what i've seen with most africans is you guys when you come to america you find a job you don't venture out there you need to venture out there you need to interact with people you need to go to your uh, your local events you need to go out there meet other people that way you are able to expand your horizon and be able to maybe potentially meet somebody who is in america who you don't have to stress yourself bringing and you don't have to worry about them sending their relatives money back home or just giving you a hard time you know playing around with you talk to other people travel meet other people and be open to you might have somebody who is genuinely interested in you and the outside the country you might be 100 percent in love but you have to know they might have responsibilities to their families back home. So no matter how much they might wanna, you know, build a relationship with you, anybody who steps in America, the first few years, what they wanna do is build themselves, give themselves a good standing. So if yourself, you have already made it in terms of you're already stabilized, you know, after the, you know, the storm of the first few years in America, and the other person just arrived don't expect them to join your band or are gone you know get married settle down no they too want to do their due diligence and follow the process just like you did so they want to go to school they want to find a job they want to improve their lifestyle before they decide hey we can settle down and get kids that's the bottom line so you cannot blame them sometimes you have to put yourself in other people's shoes so for you guys looking to bring somebody into America, you ask yourself, who is this woman? Who is this dude? Does he work? Does she work? Who are his friends, half friends? Do they really know him? Do you really know him? What are his motives? Does he want to come to the USA uh, because they love you and settle down? Or how is his or hers family situation back home? So does he have a lot of family members who are dependent on them? that will make it very difficult for you guys to build a relationship without any external forces trying to tear you apart. Are they going to change when they come to the USA? Change is inevitable. I'm telling you, everybody changes. Everybody is going to change. Is this person going to change? Definitely, they are going to change. But is that change going to affect your relationship? You decide. Are you going to support them through school? I think I've spoken about this. Deciding on supporting somebody through school, what I've seen happen, especially with the dudes, you, you support a woman through school 
when she graduates you're no longer of her class and she's gonna leave you that has happened to a lot of dudes i personally know so you choose if you want to be one of those dudes same case goes to women you want to support a man go through school that dude once he gets you know his own standing probably he's gonna see more beautiful women than you because he's gonna be able to travel and this is america we have all nationalities here is this person going to change are you gonna support them through school what i would say is no don't support anybody through school let them do their due diligence you can always offer transportation there are so many ways you can support somebody but that one of you working so they can go to school full time and you taking a back seat once they have gotten their standing things are gonna change and i'm sure you're not gonna like it and you're gonna feel like you got taken advantage of that is human nature the truth is out there